Okay, here we have the full moon in Pisces. This is slightly late going out, so we're already past this energy, but um, I do like to make sure everything is still done, so I'm gonna do it anyway. So the full moon in Pisces, it brought us illumination from things that we might have been hiding about. Things that we may have been dream too dreamy or illusion, too much of an illusion and fantasy. As the moon connects to our intuition and emotions, that connection really works well with Pisces. So it really brings a blend of magical, intuitive energies there. Pisces energies um, can bring real good um, harmony around creative energies, around spiritual vibrations, around transitions. Mercury, the planet of commu communication connected there with, with the exact trine to the lucky planet Jupiter. Um, which is was the original ruler of Pisces before Neptune discovery. So that works in in people's or worked in people's favors there. Now Mercury's now gone um, retrograde. So this means that luck and positivity that we've had from that will last for a few more weeks. So we're still in that fabulous energy there. With the Moon conjunct Neptune there and um, that wonderful planetary alignment will bring um, Pisces energy to a new level. So really look at your dreams, really look at your spiritual and your um, intuitive instincts at the moment. It may have also caused a lot of confusion though. So try and be patient with things and also be present. Try and be pre present and remember to breathe there. Our consciousness is expanding, it's expanding all the time, but our consciousness with that Jupiter connection really is um, bringing awareness and height to our spiritual insights and our intuitions. So your manifestations now, particularly like I said, because we've got retrograde energy coming in, really will can, really can expand and play a powerful role in understanding your own personal power. Um, with over these next few weeks, with your hopes, with your dreams, and setting no boundaries to anything. Now, um, full moons allow us to let things go. They get, help release what no longer serves us, what hasn't worked for us. And Pisces was the end of the last zodiac cycle. So this brings the full moon's closure to a more stronger, uh, powerful, pivotal point, really. So a really good time to, if you haven't made those endings, and lower coming into the new moon in, in uh, Libra, if you haven't made those endings clear, get them cut, get them cut there. There's a huge influx of energies all going on around the planet at the moment. So it's up and down, everything is up and down, but um, we're coming up for a bit of respite with this new moon in Libra. But I wanted to go through the new moon, uh, the full moon in Pisces. So let's go through the um, tarot spread then. Here are t some questions to ask from that new full moon in Pisces. <sighs> Dreams coming to a reality. Dreams coming to a reality. Now, it's the High Priestess here. Let me just move this down a bit. It's the High Priestess. So um, she's all about your inner insides, I was going to say. She's all about your intuition. She's all about hidden things. Very mystical, very spiritual. It's your intuition, one of the first things that develops when you're born there. So she asks you to delve deep into your intuition, into your gut feeling, what's feeling right at the moment, what's not. What dreams can become a reality from something that you've been burning to do, something that your gut is saying like, this is my pathway, this feels right. Listen to those. What dreams need to fade? Ooh, interesting. The six of cups, anything that's connected to the past that you can't fully either heal from or that you're not willing to heal from really if you're ready to just like I know I went through that I know that happened and it's part of me I'm done that's what you need to um let fade away now equally any trauma any harsh uh, emotional things harsh or not so harsh any trauma anything that's caused you some emotional problems from the past we now need to fade that away we need to be acknowledging them accepting them it's part of us but it's going to make us into a better person what is your intuition saying? Oh, interesting. Moving away from trouble into calmer waters. Our intuition is saying to us, you need to be moving away from things that no longer serve you, but you're moving into calmer waters. A transition is happening around you, allowing you to, to move into something unknown, but better than where you've been from. What are your dreams telling you? Ooh, got the devil card coming in here. What are your dreams telling you? Now, maybe you've been a bit obsessive, so on the look, obsessive or obsessive about a situation or a person. So he's asking you to, or reminding you that you have a choice, that you don't have to become um, bound by someone or bound by something. You can 
go back to that we can release things if there is any unha unhealthy behavior patterns around you they may be manifesting in your dreams in our subconscious where we don't get a choice what's going on there so look at what is a negative pattern there or something that could be holding you back break free from that what do you need where do you need to wake up oh we need to wake up our inner child we need to wake up having fun enjoying life being creative and just kind of saying sod it to things surprising people we need to wake up to surprising ourselves we need to wake up to really doing things differently who ever sees a fish in a cup that reminds us that we want to jump out of something unexpectedly or that we want to do something a little bit different go creative and go for it and your full moon in Pisces message is, ooh, it's the awakening. A bigger picture is on the horizon. This card indicates that there is um, a wake up call that is coming for you and the penny dropping moment. And things are going to become a lot, lot clearer for you as the year unfolds. So look out for that. Big picture is developing in front of your eyes for you to go, I've got it, I get it, I can see it. Now, um, if you want to book that spread for yourself, then just message me. If not, try it out and let me know you get on. See ya.